page 70, Hava Nagila. It's a fun piece. I would suggest pretty much play it the way it is. I'll make a couple of other suggestions. Watch it right at the beginning. Watch watch these notes carefully. It's so here. And then a G sharp. So they just it's just a it's just added a G sharp in there is all it is. Big deal. And while I'm on the subject of the G sharp, it's like, well, why does G sharp make it? I mean, it, it it's it's in C major, right? No, no, it's a, it's not in C major. It's actually in A minor. It's in the relative minor to C major. No sharps or flats. It's A minor, and we're using a harmonic minor in most cases. And if you'll look at the seventh step of A minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a G. All they do is they raise that seventh step in the minor and it make it a harmonic minor. Go do my scale video on a harmonic minor, please. The two videos, the the two, uh, two octaves, the intermediate part. Ugh, yeah, and that's why the G sharp is working out so well. At the bottom of page seventy, third major over. Look at this fingering. I like that fingering. I'm not changing. I'm just pointing it out. It's one three and one two. Melody's the top note. Bring out that. Over on page 71, fourth line down, second measure. I would recommend a 1-2-1. One, one. And in the last measure of that line are the Ds. I recommend a 1-2-1. One, one, rather than a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Over on page 72, look at the third line down. And again, I'm not changing anything. I just want to point this out. In the second measure, you're here. The thumb's playing that. And then follow their fingering. I like it. That works out very well. I like that fingering for that chromatic. So you see, all chromatic passages are not necessarily done with one three one three one. It's you, you finger a chromatic passage however you got to finger it for the piece you're in. And this is a great example of that. Now, when you get down to the bottom. The last line on page 72, starting with the second measure. There's not a lot we can do here. It's kind of a bouncy piece anyway, so you have some fun, use some wrist in here, and it's just, it's, your thumb getting worked a lot. But the, the melody is the top note, and so we're using different fingers to help us with the melody. that I really do it's good good fingering third line down on page 73 you hear two five on the half note yeah. and the last measure of the third line I would recommend a two one on that same thing with the next line down on those E's it's a one two one Last line on those fermatas, I'm going to hold each one for two counts instead of one. And then here. On the hey, I don't care if you finger that 2 5 or 1 5, you have a, a rest right in, before, and it is a hey. I mean, give me a break. I mean, you can do 1 5 with a hey, right? That's, that's okay. And the left hand. Left hand is pretty much staccato throughout this whole piece, and it's going to be light. Just keep it down. All the action and what we want to hear is in the right hand. The left hand is there just to keep the beat going. That's, that's, that, that's its job. To you get down to the fourth line on page 72. Now, this is a contrast section. It's, it's, a, it's different. We like some contrast here. And so instead of being light and bouncy and so forth, now it's going to be loud and connected. Watch the accents in the left hand. It's and then bouncy again. When you get down to the third line on page 73, and they've added the pedal in there on these you can continue to do the staccato technique in the left hand. It's not going to be staccato because the, they've added the pedal in there for excitement purposes. But just go ahead and keep the, the staccato going. And then when you get down to the second ending there on page 73. 
that major staccato, but then the whole note, and then the last not, last line, those aren't staccato chords. And then the second measure, I would do those staccatos, and then the, well, and the hey. Don't forget the hey. Where's the hey? Here. I knew it. Roadmap wise, it goes pretty straightforward. You do pages 70 and 71, then 72, and you get over to 73. There's a first and second ending. Then you repeat back to the last line on page 70, because of the reverse repeat sign. And you play all that again, and then we do the second ending in here. Now, when we do the play with me section, I'm going to do it that way because I don't want to deal with the page turns. So I'm not going to do the first or second ending. I'm only going to do the second ending. I'm going to skip the first ending and we're just going to play it through. Now if you're performing it, you can't stop and turn the pages. See in the videos we do, in my videos, we stop, we turn the page, I count us in again and we continue on. Well, performing it, you can't do that. So you have to study the music and think, how can I turn the page without messing up the beat? You have to leave stuff out sometimes, or you have to use the pedal to help you out. Well, we don't, can't use pedal here because it's staccato, it's light and it's bouncy. So what you're going to have to do is that last measure on page 71, the whole note in the right hand, instead of a, instead of a whole note, you're going to have to like make it a, a quarter note or whatever you got to make it. Hold it as long as you can, but make sure you reach up and turn the page with your hand so you're ready to go at the beginning of page 72. So, depends on how fast you can turn the page. Then when you get over to page 73 at the first inning and you want to repeat back, that's a little easier because, again, you have this in the right hand. and So you can release that dotted half note early if you have to, to give you time to reach up with your right hand and turn the page back. So you're ready to go at the beginning of the measure there, at the bottom of page 70. Now, this piece tends to have multiple speeds going on. We're not going to do that. We're just going to play it nice and slow throughout because I want to check the notes and the rhythms. Just a little bit of pedal here on pages 72 and 73. Pedal it just like they're telling you to pedal it. No differences. You're fine. Now, the only thing I might point out is at the end of page 73, uh, they've drugged that pedal line out on the hay and that's up to you. If you want a long hay, hold the pedal down because your the hands don't stay down. They come up and so you're using the pedal to ring it out. It's more for a show thing. If you don't want a long hay, then you release the pedal with the hands and you get a short hay. Hey. You'll find all kinds of recordings of this piece. Shouldn't be a problem to figure out how it should sound. I'm going to give us four counts so let's play this together. Again, we're going to do page of 70, 71, then we're going to stop. We're going to turn the page. I'm going to count us in again. And we're going to do pages 72 and 73. And on page 73, I'm not going to do the first ending. I'm going to skip it and go on to the second ending. Uh, one, two, ready, and go, and. Rest, rest.
page one two ready go Four, one, two, three, four, one.